Yo, what is up, guys? So today we have some exciting news, which basically is a lot of people have been playing a lot on the server, which is really good. So I'm going to show off the uh, leaderboard for playtime really quick. And we're going to see uh, how much people have been playing in like the last, let's see, it's been a little over 12 hours. So we're going to check the leaderboard really quick. And there's actually a lot of players online, over 10 players online. So that's really good. And actually a surprisingly large amount of, uh, you know, players on the leaderboard and the times on the leaderboard are actually really impressive. So we're going to take a look really quick and see, uh, now it only counts actually the play time that is like not AFK. So remember that it's only counting every single, uh, minute that it's thinking that you're not AFK. So yeah, the first place person is Omar FC with 570 minutes. So remember 300 minutes is like five hours. So some of these players have played for almost 10 hours already. So we've got um, Omar FC with almost 10 hours, which is crazy because I only released this update about what, like 17 hours ago or something. So it looks like he's been playing for like Ha literally half the time, which is insane. But uh, it says Troll Drop here has 500 minutes. Uh, Wicked Ninja has um, 420 minutes. But the thing is, I think he might be like a... Maybe he's like an Epic Motor spawner count or something. But, I mean, if he still wants the boxes, I will. I guess I can have to give him the boxes, you know? But uh, when I woke up this morning, I saw Cost123 was almost in like... He was like in the top three at 400 minutes of playtime. So that's pretty impressive. But like I was saying, the uh, there's a lot of people on this list already. Like almost 40 players are on this list actually. And a lot of them have uh, at least a few hours of playtime, non-AFK playtime. So that's really good. Now what we're going to talk about is uh, we're going to add, you know, maybe tomorrow we would add like an Easter bunny with the actual good reward of diamonds and then once we do that then you guys will be able to get a bunch of diamonds and all you got to do is like probably do a little quest for the easter bunny so that's going to be like super easy and then we'll have the youtubers make a video out of maybe they'll uh you know have the competition in it or we could um if they end up making the video like kind of towards the end of this weekend we could actually have another competition very similar to this one. So that'd be kind of cool. So not only that, guys, but yeah, um, let's see. I talked to a YouTuber who's supposed to be making like a bunch of videos for us. I actually just hired a different YouTuber who is online right now, which is kind of crazy. And he uh, he just created an account with a... Uh, and he's like, let's see what combat level he is. He's like 108 combat level. So I'm going to have him make like a PvP video for our server, I think. But then what we're going to talk about is um, who do we, who are we going to like uh, get videos from next, basically. So I'm thinking get videos from like uh, Walk Chaos could make another video. Uh, Rekt you could make another video. Uh, Vidic still uh, could make the PvP video. So that's one option for him. Otherwise, he can make this uh, new video, which is coming out, which basically is the uh, Easter event and also some sort of competition. So, yeah, anyways, it looks like I was going to try and like work like 12 hours at my job or something crazy, but I woke up. I keep sleeping like really late, guys. I keep sleeping like 10 or 11 hours. It's kind of crazy. But now it turns out I need to go to this meeting that's at like... 9 30 in the morning but the problem is i almost always sleep till like 12 like noon basically i sleep till noon usually so now they want me awake at like nine in the morning guys it's crazy but anyways yeah so the easter event is coming up guys big diamond rewards then youtubers will make videos on that and the competitions and we'll get even more players and this competition seems to have brought some uh players online as well which is really good so hopefully that makes it uh kind of more fun to play the game Especially if I'm going to talk about the rewards really quick. The top three players on this playtime leaderboards will actually get 
1,000 noxious boxes. And then the fourth through 10th place will get 1,000 weapon boxes, which is uh, also pretty decent. But the noxious boxes are going to be like almost like a 10 times better reward to have noxious boxes rather than having the weapon boxes. Although someone was saying that the ray gun isn't that great from weapon boxes anyways, which is uh, pretty true. So that's why range kind of needs a buff. Like when I made the ray gun, ray gun is basically as good as like ascension crossbow or like probably better. So yeah, we'll uh, be buffing the range for sure at some point in time. But um, yeah, it's uh, good to see like a lot of new player or a lot of players I haven't seen before. Like I've never seen some of these players on the leaderboard are very new to me. Uh, we've got like uh, one X God. Um, he actually had a high playtime yesterday, I think. Um, one X God, Joel. Uh, let's see who else. There's a WBA Warrior. Uh, WBA Chill, those guys seem to be going pretty hard on this, as they're both in the top 10, so that's pretty good. Uh, Dead Man Can is uh, almost in the top 3, but at the moment, the current top 3 is Wicked Ninja, who, like I said, isn't even like an uh, economy player, I don't think. Uh, then we got Troll Drop and Omar FC, and uh, I've definitely seen those names before, for sure. So, I've seen those guys. But now, anyways... Uh, I think that's mostly all I have to talk about for the video. I'm just impressed with the leaderboards at the moment and like how many players are taking, uh, you know, participation in this competition. So that's really good. So yeah, and then uh, wish me luck, guys. Like uh, I only got 32 hours of working last week, but like maybe like one or two of the days I wasn't really able to work that much because the uh, systems were like kind of down or whatever. But um, I yeah, I kind of need to start getting like 40 plus hours of work. So that's like, um, I was trying to do the math guys, right? So you can do like eight hours for five days. You could do six hours for seven days. If you want to work like six hours on the Saturday and Sunday, or you can do eight hours Monday through Friday. You could do, um, 10 hours every day, Monday through Thursday. And then if you were like really crazy, you could do, uh, 12 hours for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And then you'd be already at 36 hours and then you could work like four hours on some other day. And then uh, if you were even crazier, you could work like 14 hours for three days in a row and that'd be over 40 hours. In fact, that'd be 42 hours, which would be a little bit over uh, full time. So you could literally get full time done all in three days out of the week, which is like right there, three days of the week out of seven, that's less than half a week and you're already uh, at 40 hours. So if you worked 14 hours for six days in a row, that would be over 80 hours, which is kind of like insane. So if I wanted to, I could really just like grind on my, uh, you know, grind on my new job here, which is uh, paying a good amount and then try and put some of that money into anarchy, which has kind of been what I've been doing and it's working pretty well because the, uh, the player count has gone from like not very many players, like it could be like five or less players online. To now, like, every single day we're getting, like, 10 plus players, like, maximum per day. And, in fact, I even thought that uh, one of my staff, like, a week ago or something said that there was, like, 15 or 20 players online uh, maximum for the day. So, that's, like, very impressive. But, uh, what we're going to talk about now is that, um, yeah, the 14 hours of work per day is, that just seems like too much. I think the most I would try and do, and this is kind of funny, guys, because... I've never done, I don't think, like more than 9 or 10 hours of work in a day. But I'm like saying the most I would ever do is probably like 12 hours. Um, I could try to do 14 hours. That would be insane though. Like if you think about if I sleep 10 hours and then I work for 14 hours, that's already 24 hours. So I sleep and work. And then I could do that. Like I said, I could do that for three days in a row. And then what would happen is then I would already have all my hours in for the week. And I've kind of wanted to get like, I got one week of 50 hours of work in because I did eight hours for like five days in a row, which got me to like um, almost 50 hours. So the most I've ever worked in my, uh, in my work at the moment is 50 hours in one week. But the least I've ever worked was like 25 hours. That was when the systems weren't, weren't uh, up and running for like half the week. So it's kind of hard to get work in. So I only got like part-time hours at that point. And then last week, 
Um, I only got 32 hours in because uh, one day the s systems weren't working and I only got like one hour of work in or something crazy. But luckily these systems are working now. And yeah, what they want to make sure tomorrow at like nine in the morning is that we're doing like quality work or whatever. So that's kind of why they're do we're having like a huge meeting with, uh, I don't know how many people are going to be in the meeting, but apparently it's mandatory for everyone. There's like uh, 200 people in the group chat, which he sent this to. So yeah, this is going to be kind of interesting. But anyways, yeah, so I think that's going to do it for today's video, guys. We have um, one YouTuber I just hired, another YouTuber who's going to make a video for us. And then like, I'm probably going to get like at least two or three more YouTubers on top of that. So that's like at least four or five YouTubers that we're going to be uh, having videos made for us in like the next uh, week. So that's really good news. But anyways, that's going to do it for today's video, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoy the video and peace out.